so welcome to this uh, meet the dean uh, uh, session and uh, this is uh, means i you know generally plan to do it uh, uh, once per long semester and uh, this time has not been uh, you know very easy for any of us uh, still going through pandemic uh, and a uh, um, uh, lot of precautions uh, you know university is taking uh, in terms of uh, uh, courses in terms of keeping our health at the first and foremost uh, um, over any other decisions uh, so the, perhaps the theme for today is uh, somewhat uh, you know covid-19 safety uh, we'll talk about many other things also uh but uh, um uh, you probably know there is no spring break uh this semester uh but uh, you know you can sign up uh, for campus updates uh, also uh, um you know i'm going to type in uh, the url uh that uh, uh is for health alerts uh, i hope you regularly regularly visit this uh, uh website uh, uh you know university updates is very frequently there is also a covid dashboard there which uh, you know uh, you are welcome to look at uh, which uh, provides uh, information on uh, how you know covid cases are uh, i'm glad to uh, report that uh, there have not been any cases detected in the classrooms uh, uh, and uh, you know so again health is uh, kept as the uh, at the you know forefront of anything else so, uh with that uh, i would like to also uh, um, uh, give you some updates on the college um, uh, we have uh, two uh, new faculty who joined us uh, in spring um, uh, one is uh, dr uh, jennifer moore uh, who joined as uh, associate professor in uh, information science school library program um, and uh, uh another is uh, dr stefan wheeler uh, who joined as a clinical assistant professor in uh, our information science department in the data science program so their profiles are uh, on the department website please uh, uh, you know if you have your research in the, in those areas uh, uh, please uh, reach out to them uh, university also has done uh, really good in uh, you know uh, um uh, trying to provide support for students of course uh, and, and these are difficult times uh, so is uh, whatever support has been there i don't think that's enough but uh, uh, th there is a lot of support that has been uh, uh, given in the college we have a number of scholarships awarded uh, in 2021 uh to students uh, we had uh, uh, over 72000 dollars worth of scholarships awarded to 71 students uh, uh we also had uh, uh some successes uh, uh for our faculty who have who uh, were awarded uh, research grants uh, we had uh, uh, 63% success rate uh, uh, for the grants award awarded by texas education agency and uh, 27% success rate with the national science foundation which is notoriously competitive uh, so we are quite happy with the, uh, with that Uh, our programs as you know uh, are also ranked highly um, our graduate medical librarianship program uh, which is part of library science uh, continues to be ranked uh, first in texas um, and uh, seventh in the nation uh, by us news and world report uh, we also have our uh, graduate school library uh, media program again within uh, uh, library science uh, uh, and uh, 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 uh that is uh, uh also ranked uh, number 1 in texas and 10th in the nation um, again by us world and news report uh, news and world report uh undergraduate information science program is ranked 11th in the nation uh, by for west best value by collegefactual.com and uh, our uh, uh, online masters program in learning technologies uh, is ranked second uh, for best value by college values online uh uh you you can check out uh, um you know these rankings uh, uh, also uh, and there are many more uh, on uh, unt website unt has a special uh, website where they uh, they have listed all these different rankings so this is something that we all can be proud of especially as you uh, you know um, uh, you know are successful in your degrees and go further 
uh, this is going to be counted, uh, you know, uh, when you apply for uh, uh, for jobs or some, start something uh, of your own, uh, you know, that uh, uh, you are coming from a prestigious university, you know, university that is uh, Carnegie Tier One Research University with uh, uh, such a large number of uh, uh, rank programs. So, we also have a, a leadership board at college level, uh, which uh, uh, has uh, uh, members from uh, our alumni and also external partnerships. Uh, um, so they are looking for, you know, uh, many times uh, providing internship opportunities. Uh, um, for example, Amigos Library, they had uh, 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 listed uh, internship in uh, uh, handshake uh, system. Uh, also Capital One, I don't know, some of you may remember, we had a data science day uh, uh, and uh, they came and uh, uh, they offered uh, internships. So we have a number of these collaborations uh, uh, with the uh, companies and uh, you can reach out to your professors. Uh, uh, they generally have the connections directly with, the, uh, uh, with such uh, uh, industries. Uh, in terms of uh, resources available <clears throat> for academic resources, uh, um, I would like to mention some of them. Um, I'm going to post this uh, also uh, in the chat uh, so that uh, <clears throat> you can have them for later. Let me start with our writing center. Many of our uh, students, uh, you know, uh, they benefit from uh, getting better writing skills, uh, um, you know, in assignments, uh, your papers you write. Uh, also, uh, we have counseling, uh, counseling resources um, uh, available uh, through student affairs. I'm going to post uh, uh, the links to them in a moment. Um, we also have tutoring resources, one-on-one uh, -on -one tu one -on -one tutoring uh, uh, available. Uh, let me, in the meantime, post this uh, so that you have these links uh, available. Uh, so you can, you, you can schedule an appointment uh, uh, with a lead tutor who can help you then navigate uh, uh, through course content. Uh, we also have drop-in tutoring in that, um, uh, to tutoring center, uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, it offers students uh, uh, ability to work without, uh, uh, with lead tutors without an appointment. So and, uh, uh, in, and there are dropping sessions, as you will see in the chat, uh, you know, in spring 2021, uh, we have Monday 5 to 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., Tuesdays 5 to 7 p.m., uh, Wednesdays 5 to 7 p.m., and also same uh, on Thursday. So four days a week uh, we have. Uh, we also have Ask a Tutor, uh, where uh, if you have a question but don't need a whole session, you can just submit the question via portal. Uh, and uh, typically, they reply within 48 hours, uh, which is uh, you know quite useful if you are just looking for some help uh, rather than getting a whole session. Uh, there is also something called Tutor Tube. Uh, uh, you know, check it out. Um, um, it's again available through Learning Center, uh, uh, like, uh, the website. And for graduate, tut uh, graduate students, there is also graduate tutoring, um, currently offering support in uh, data analytics, statistics, uh, uh, decision sciences, information uh, science, uh, and uh, many other programs. Uh, again, the links are there, uh, so just uh, check it out. Uh, actually, it did not post, let, let me do the last part again, because uh, uh, I think it had a limit of how much it can take in one time. So now you have the graduate tutoring link. Also, there is dissertation bootcamp. Those of you who are uh, in doctoral program and uh, um, uh, you know need help, uh, um, or just to, um, you know uh, uh, brushing, up, uh, brushing up skills, uh, you can uh, uh, check that out. It's run by our Toulouse Graduate School uh, Eagle Thesis Dissertation Bootcamp. So this is. Uh, uh, something that, uh, you know, these are a lot of resources that, uh, you know, are available and um, yes, they are available to you. you uh, so I think you should take advantage of them when you are, um, you know, the, get the best out of it. Uh, out of it. Uh, they also have uh, our uh, career development specialist, uh, uh, Laura Gatsa, uh, and uh, she is available at Discovery Park. I'm going to give you another link. Uh, uh, where you can, uh, you know, uh, reach out to her. Her contact details are available there. Uh, so, you know, she is there um, uh, to help us, um, uh, help our students. 
please take advantage of uh, these uh, um, uh, opportunities. Uh, at the same time, I will also uh, suggest that uh, you know, as a college, we also uh, provide a lot of information through social media. Uh, particularly, I just posted uh, uh, the LinkedIn uh, uh, address. Uh, if you are not already uh, uh, following it, uh, uh, please uh, you know, connect with it uh, because you will see a lot of information coming in uh, uh, there as, uh, you know, as we get the information. And uh, Another thing that I would really like to uh, do is to ask you for your achievements. Uh, uh, you know, whenever you have some successes, you publish some paper, you, you have some internships, anything, any of your uh, stories uh, uh, we would like to hear. Uh, uh, so, you know, you can send them to me. Um, my address is ci-dean at unt.edu. Uh, and uh, we would love to, you know, celebrate them on our social media, in our newsletter. So uh, I really would like to hear, uh, you know, uh, from our students. So, uh, how is your semester going? Anybody who, who would like to, you know, be brave and tell a little bit about uh, how are you doing? Uh, how has been your study? I think I'm going to jump in and talk about go our ahead. data science organization. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. So yeah. Le le let me let me just uh, 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 give, give some information on. So, uh, you know, we have a number of student organizations um, uh, in our college and uh, uh, one of them is uh, our, newest uh, our newest organization on uh, data science. Uh, and uh, uh, Sahar is, uh, uh, you know, uh, taking care of that. So Sahar, go ahead and uh, introduce uh, the organization, introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, that would be great. I was going to share a screen, but- You want to share a screen? I think you, you should be able to share a screen. Let me just see. I just thought we're talking about our mission, then I will share a screen. So okay. um, yeah, my name is Sahar Behpur. I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Information Science with a concentration in data science. Uh, this semester, I'm uh, taking care of the um, data science organization and uh, as the president of this organization. And yesterday we officially launched our organization and introduced that in a, 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 I mean, one event co-hosting with um, the, um, AIT in the Department of Computer Science. And uh, our mission in the data science organization is to promote interest in the emerging field of data science and to represent student needs and wants regarding events, computational resources, facilities, and other supports. The organization provides a competitive scientific and technical environment that encourages students and researchers to leverage the data science skills, knowledge, and qualifications required by both academic and industry. Additionally, our association plans to assist students in finding suitable data science related careers by hosting relevant events that can connect students with potential employers in the field. Last but not least, the data science organization has a goal to make the UNT data science program recognized nationally and worldwide. So this was a brief introduction about our mission, but who we are and what are our plans for the upcoming uh, year. So uh, here, let me share my screen and show you the members that are currently involved as officers in this organization. Please excuse me, it takes me a little bit time to open this. Members, event. Yay, I found it. Okay, I go ahead to share my screen and So we provided a document of who we are. You see here, I think this is the older version. So we don't have the picture of our advisors. This is an old, older version, version of the document, but that's fine. I'll introduce our 
advisors. One of our advisors is uh, Dr. Daniela Smith from Information Science Department. And the other advisor is from the Computer Science Department, Dr. Ting Shou. And uh, we actually um, try to have uh, more um, connection with other departments. That's why we try to uh, pick two different advisor from different departments. And uh, yeah, you see me here as a president, Hai Hua Chen, um, one other PhD candidate, which uh, Hai Hua is also in the meeting here. Hey, Hai Hua. And um, yes, and Rahima, our secretary. And we have uh, uh, Mani, Mani Sundar, our social media organizer. And uh, we also have a undergrad representative and a master representative. They're coming and uh, we're trying to um, do the process of onboarding. Uh, Chanel is the undergrad representative and we're still deciding for the uh, master representative. So we, we think that the more we expand the, um, the organization, the better we get results. So we try to have different uh, representatives of uh, um, different levels of, uh, I mean, the data science and data oriented um, level of uh, students and degrees. So what are our plans and how to join us? This is a link that you can click on. I also want to learn from Dr. Kinshuk. So I want to <laughs> share them in the chat room so that you can uh, advertise for us or you can join us. I'll share it in the chat room. Mm. I want to stop sharing to be able to be easy. Okay, the first thing yep, I sent yep. is the, okay. uh, yes. This is, um, you can click on that. It takes you to the um, Orxing. Orxing is the official website for the UNT organization. So um, not only we need to get the students in our social media, but also we need to have them recorded and documented in the Orxing so that the UNT can track the number of the members that we're getting yearly or monthly because we plan for getting awards and to uh, kind of um, represent ourselves to the um, UNT as well, like the, um, the organizer of the whole organization. So this taking care of this is also important. So I appreciate you all if you can encourage students to not only follow us in social media and other, um, I mean, website, but also from the you know, org thing. And this is for the the second link is the list, email list that we created so that the connection between the members and us officers is easier. For example, today I just sent a reminder for students by email. So all our members, they get the email from me and the other officers directly. So it takes, it, it makes it easier, much easier, the communication. Um, but what else, how they can reach, uh, reach out to us? We have two different uh, email addresses. One of them is official, um, the Gmail address that we have, and the other one is the UNT email. They are all available in the uh, LinkedIn, in our LinkedIn and um, the, I think the, also the College of and the Information Science Department has also uh, announced that in the news. If you could post the, the two emails, that would be great. Email and our LinkedIn, it would be awesome. Sounds good. Uh, so um, and just a quick question. So anybody can join or people who are in, <clears throat> in data science, uh, are they the only ones uh, who can join it? It's open to everyone. Everyone, like, okay. Yeah, That's good. open to all UNT students and, um, but our social media, everyone can join the social media yeah. and follow us. So what we have planned is that we have in mind to not only get 
um, people from academic, but also from industry to make connection, specifically through our social media. And my main focus and my main advertisement is on LinkedIn. Uh, and uh, so far, we have uh, had, the, as I said, the first event was yesterday, and uh, we are planning to collaborate and co-host some workshops with the computer science department organizations and uh, a newly established organization, uh, AI organization, run by um, Dr. Mark, Mark Albert, my supervisor, and uh, his team. So we are planning to collaborate with them and have some uh, hands-on workshops for our students. And on the other hand, we have uh, poster competition and uh, presentations competition. Our presentation competition kind of overlaps with the timing that the, um, our classes presentations are due so that the students can present in the classes. Our instructors like myself, Hai Hua, Dr. Albert and other instructor can uh, pick some of the best um, project and uh, we can have a competition between students in the um, presentation day and okay. we plan think, for that for February. Yeah, that's good. Uh, very good. So a very good introduction. Thank you for this. Uh, and uh, yeah, those who are interested, they will connect uh, uh, through that. Uh, uh, and I wish you the best uh, with the with this organization. And at the same time, I would like to also uh, uh, mention uh, the other organizations that we have. For example, we have uh, a SLANT, which is a Student Linguistics Association of North Texas. Uh, and I have uh, posted the link uh, uh, for that. So our linguistics students, uh, uh, you know, especially and anybody who is interested in uh, linguistics area, um, you know, and, uh, they can find more information about it. There is also LISA, uh, the Library and Information Sciences Student Association. Uh, and I'm here in... today. I can do a quick introduction. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay. please do a quick one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hello, my name is Nicole Norelli. I'm the current president of UNT LISA. Uh, my apologies for not showing up on video today. I'm having some issues with my computer. Um, I am the president of the UNT Library and Information Science Student Association. So as we have with all these other organizations, ours is a little more general. We try to offer workshops and speakers from all of the LIS fields. Um, our main event is that we do virtual happy hours twice a month, the second and fourth Monday of every month at 7 p.m. And we have speakers from all over the field. Um, this last one, we talked about the ePortfolio project. This next one, we're probably gonna be talking about the rare book industry um, on the private and corporate side. Um, however, we pull in youth librarians, uh, school librarians, uh, technical librarians, STEM, health informatics, so on and so forth. So we really try to pull a range as much as possible. Um, we do have a Canvas classroom. Um, so I'm putting in the chat now is our link to our My Campus Lab. If you are non not a member of LISA, then go ahead and go there first, get joined, and then our membership uh, director will get in touch with you to get you into our Canvas classroom. If you are already a member of LISA and you don't have access to our Canvas, then I will drop my email in the chat in a few minutes and you can get in touch with me. Um, but that's where we do the bulk of our communication. So we have modules that have resources for jobs, school. We open discussion boards for classes and projects. Um, and we will probably be doing an all schools day in the fall, which will be a virtual speaker event similar to um, MERS and what other organizations are doing where we have speakers from the field and probably a poster presentation, but we'll do more of a practice session, helping people learn that sort of thing. So basically we're here to connect all of the students with the faculty and the faculty with the students and find the resources that you need to excel at your studies and find a job afterwards. Thank you very much, uh, fantastic. And we have one more association, which is uh, called ASSIST, Association for Information Science and Technology. Uh, and uh, that is also uh, through our information science uh, department. So uh, link I have provided there. Um, uh, so these are uh, certainly, you know, um, good opportunities for our students to get involved uh, with the, uh, uh, you know, uh, different organizations. So, um, some of you may also be looking at, uh, you know, financial assistance um, uh, and uh, uh, there are some resources that, uh, uh, that we have uh, available. 
um, I'm going to post one is a uh, travel grant for undergraduate uh, uh, undergraduates. Uh, uh, there is, you know, I put a link to that. Uh, uh, check this out, um, uh, you know. Then also we have uh, um, uh, grants for uh, uh, graduate uh, students. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, there is, uh, first of all, travel grant uh, available through uh, Toulouse Graduate School, uh, but that's a matching grant. And uh, so typically uh, we have our departments uh, awarding between $100 and $500 uh, uh, if you receive an award from graduate school. And graduate school works in the way that they do match in awards. So, uh, so you need the department award before they will confirm their award. Uh, so, but that's, uh, you know, basically doubles the grant. Uh, uh, so check that out uh, and the link is there. I've just uh, posted the link. Uh, uh, you know, these are good opportunities. Uh, there are also some uh, uh, other resources that we have um, uh, in terms of financial aid, uh, and I'm going to post uh, those links uh, here. Uh, uh, these are the links for different uh, financial awards uh, at college level, also uh, information science, learning technologies, and linguistics uh, in all three departments. Uh, uh, Okay, then uh, um, uh, in terms of uh, research, we have also a lot of research opportunities. As I mentioned, our faculty, they receive a lot of, uh, you know, uh, research grants, uh, uh, but also uh, for undergraduate students, I don't know if there are any undergraduate students here, but, uh, uh, you know, our faculty have been working with uh, uh, students uh, uh, through uh, 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 that uh, honors college uh, and uh, that they do a number of uh, uh, grants and our students also with TAMES students. Uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, RU uh, uh, grants. We had two RU grants uh, available uh, in our college. Um, uh, uh, both of them were uh, uh, through information science department, but one of them also had a co-PI from linguistics. Uh, so there are, um, you know, they do conferences, uh, uh, and uh, linguistics uh, undergraduate students have also uh, presented with information science students uh, in those conferences. Uh, um, any questions, comments till now? Any questions you have for me? Anything you wanted to know that uh, I have not talked about? Okay, if nothing, then uh, I would like to little bit talk about, uh, you know, what can you do to keep a balanced study schedule during the year? Uh, there are some strategies uh, uh, that uh, you can apply. There is, uh, uh, there are resources uh, available to, you know, learn about that. Uh, okay, there is a comment uh, for Sahar, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to post uh, uh, some of the resources there. There is a learning 101 series, uh, which is uh, really uh, some simple strategies to more effectively learn uh, effective study skills, including time management, goal setting, note taking, um, you know, or if I, you know, need, and they are needed at all levels. So it doesn't matter what uh, uh, level of studies you do. Uh, also making time for rest and fun. You know, connect with your peers uh, to chat, play games, make new friends. Um, um, the, uh, there is also daily mindfulness meditation practice uh, uh, available. And um, also, you, you know, uh, if you are seeking support uh, uh, when you need help, uh, uh, then there is a counseling and testing services. They have therapy assistance online. So these are all the resources that are available, different resources. Um, are there any, uh, Lydia is asking, are there any opportunities to participate in uh, service virtually? Uh, I'll have to find out, uh, uh, Erica, do you know uh, about it? Otherwise we will find it out. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll need a little bit of clarification on what Lydia is asking for. Opportunity yeah. to participate in service. Lydia, do you want to clarify? Happy to help, just want to expand a little bit on that so I get you to the right connection. Okay, perhaps Lydia will uh, type something uh, because I think she is at work. Volunteer services, she mentioned. Volunteer opportunities um, are varied and great across campuses. I don't know of any off the top of my head, but I can 
I can find out some more for you and, and email you if you'd like. Okay, and uh, uh, there are also resources available for uh, uh, preparing for current job market. Uh, you know, you can find also uh, uh, resources for that uh, uh, on our career uh, my career center website. Uh, so here is, sorry, what did I do? No, I did not put the correct link, did I? Uh, just a moment. Let me put that thing again. Yeah, now the link is correct. Okay, uh, then uh, 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 I would like to also mention some of the events that are coming up. Um, um, uh, um, some of you um, perhaps are aware that, uh, you know, Dr. Yvonne Chandler, her uh, untimely passing, uh, we are celebrating her achievements. Uh, and uh, by remembering her and uh, there is an event uh, uh, that is being organized uh, uh, on uh, February 9th uh, on uh, uh, that's Tuesday at 7 p.m. at uh, 6 p.m. And uh, I'm going to uh, put the links uh, uh, link for that. There is also graduate town hall uh, uh, that's coming up uh, uh, where you can ask you know, any questions about your program, any help uh, that you need in terms of uh, thinking about your career, um, anything to do with, you know, uh, any great graduate, uh, you know, question that you have um, uh, with your studies, with your uh, career, any help you need, any advice you need. We will have advisors available. We will uh, hopefully also have all our program directors available. Uh, you know, a lot of different uh, uh, resources available at that day. And that's going to be on uh, Tuesday, February 16th uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, we also have uh, in March uh, code series coming up. Uh, Dr. John Turner and uh, uh, Nigel Thurlow from Toyota Connected, uh, uh, they will be talking about keen science and the flow system. This is a new, uh, uh, a new framework that they have created uh, for, uh, uh, for large teams. Uh, and then we have, of, of course, MISS Conference uh, Multidisciplinary Information Research Symposium that's coming up in April. So let me uh, post these here. And uh, I really suggest that you mark them in your calendar so that uh, when more information comes, then uh, uh, you, know, you, you already know when they are happening. OK, um, anything else I can talk about? Go ahead. Who who is that? Sahar. Hi, Sahar. Go, go ahead. You, you, you are very soft today, so maybe you go a little near to your microphone. Oh, okay. So my question is about um, the. So how can I get some information about the awards? Not only uh, from UNT, but like national awards or because I my. Personally, I like to tackle some awards at um, first of the a year so that I have a plan for that. But I don't find anything, and there's not many advertisement in the department so that I yeah. can tackle them. Very good question. So the thing is, typically these national awards or regional awards, for example, state level award, they are uh, they are discipline based, and uh, typically they are run by uh, the disciplinary for professional organizations. So, for, for example, for library science students, it would be Texas Library Association uh, or American Library Association. Um, uh, uh, the first thing uh, would be to get membership of uh, uh, of relevant organization in your area, and then uh, the, the typically the uh, awards uh, are either connected to their conferences. Uh, you know, uh, or they are presented at conferences, even if they are not directly connected. So professional organizations are the best place where, um, uh, where you can find uh, the kind of awards uh, uh, that you are talking about. Uh, um, yeah, that's what I would, I would suggest. Uh, uh, they are the best places to, to look for national and state level awards. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. 
Any other questions? Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I would like to, you know, be in touch with you. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, you know, there are many different ways. We have a number of social media. Uh, we also have our, uh, you know, um, uh, email address. Uh, uh, I'm going to post out uh, the links uh, to different uh, social media and email uh, that you can reach out to, um, you know, uh, connect with us on, on these different social media, whatever you use. And uh, we would love to then, you know, uh, provide you more information. Uh, we generally are quite active in, in these and, uh, yeah, so uh, if you have, if you are not already connected, please do. Okay, any last questions? If not, then uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me in, in this session. And uh, I hope the information that I provided is useful. Uh, you know, be safe, very important. We are following, uh, you know, na national uh, uh, guidelines and state level guidelines uh, for, uh, 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 you know, for the pandemic. Uh, uh, so uh, the best place to look at, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the in information, you know, health alerts uh, site that UNT has, a uh, lot of uh, information is, uh, you know, updated there. Uh, now I have a direct message here from someone uh, says, Professor, can you talk about on-campus jobs? Uh, uh, certainly what I can say is that uh, uh, the jobs are being posted, um, you know, while we have, uh, you know, uh, budget cuts and so on because of pandemic uh, student funding is, uh, uh, you know, uh, as, as much possible universities trying to keep it. Uh, um, so uh, all student jobs are posted on Handshake. Uh, so I hope you are aware of that system. Uh, uh, so yeah, okay. Uh, Erica has posted the uh, uh, the link careercenter.unt.edu. Thank you, Erica. And uh, uh, the, there you also find the handshake link uh, and you know uh, reach out there as much as possible. Uh, you know we are trying to find ways to you know uh, provide jobs. One of the things that I would like to mention here is that. Uh, those who are interested in research assistantships and uh, teaching assistantships, uh, they are really governed by the faculty. It means faculty look at who is the right person uh, for that. Uh, uh, so, um, you know, the best is to really uh, uh, reach out to your uh, faculty and show them what you can do. Uh, you know, uh, how you are the one uh, who excel. Uh, in uh, you know, uh, in certain courses or certain type of research, um, uh, uh, look at their profile. Uh, you know what they are doing, and uh, uh, you know reach out to them with a very uh, you know clear indication of how you, what you have uh, aligns with their um, you know uh, research expertise. Uh, how you are the right person. Of course, if you just send a message, I'm looking for a job. Uh, you know, it's it's not very easy for uh, for professors to understand why you are the right person for that. Um, so provide them information on why you are the one uh, who is the best suited for uh, for this particular uh, type of job. And, uh, you know that that helps a lot uh, for them to understand your expertise, uh, and uh, hopefully that will lead to you know your collaboration with them. Uh, with that, uh, uh, once again, uh, be safe. Um, you know, now that we have uh, uh, light at the end of the tunnel, vaccine is becoming available slowly. Uh, so hopefully we will see uh, times when uh, uh, very soon when, uh, you know, we all can be on campus. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would like uh, when we have that, uh, uh, I would love to see you. Uh, um, uh, and uh, talk to you, uh, find, you know, uh, what you are doing, what your achievements are. Uh, currently, of course, we are working, you know, uh, mostly remotely, only very few courses are on campus, but hopefully soon we will have uh, uh, more, you know, campus presence. So till then, be safe and uh, 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 best of luck. Reach out to me uh, uh, whenever you, uh, you know, you have any questions or anything. Thank you. Have a great day.